which it's a good kick. And uh, we see over the top with Sankey. Sankey is out marking Miller at centre half forward. Uh, I don't know what, where, they're, where they're playing Collis at the moment because Sankey is at centre half forward. Uh, Donaldson is on a half forward flank. I think Collis must be having a run in the, in the ruck, Jeff. You can have a look at that in a moment. I will have a look in a moment too, Ian. There's quite a crowding here at this stage. There's Sankey's kick. It's a high punt kick up towards. Ball picked up by Buckley Cox. This kick doesn't go very far, but it finds a teammate out there in Maurice Sankey, who is about 55 yards out on an angle from goal for Carlton. Carlton, two goals down. As Sankey comes in, a punt kick takes the ball right to the 10 yard pull forward pocket for the Blues. Coming downfield is Roy West with Carroll. Carroll breaks away, has a flick pass out here towards Sankey. Sankey running into the goals. This is going to be a goal for the Blues and a good goal too. Tony, I'm not criticising umpire on this occasion, but I'd say that Murray Sankey ran about 25 to 30 yards there in his eagerness to get to the goals. And I'll say this, the umpire did give him a chance to settle. Whichever way this game goes, it'll be remembered for a long, long time. Terrific play by both sides, an excellent line. Four and a half minutes, four and three quarter minutes of time on gone. He passes the ball upfield and has been marked by Murray Sankey, who scored that last goal. Now he's anxious to get the ball and... Un Melbourne with a springboard kick into attack. The ball is across onto the half-forward line, taken by Sankey. Sankey punches the minutes. They've had the ball into attack all the time. The ball is onto the half-back line for the Melbourne team. Sankey has hold of it. Melbourne in trouble here. He's grabbed by late. Dixon's kick is short. Sankey has marked it. Melbourne 10-9. Carlton 9 goals 5. 10 points the difference. He's pushed aside by Williams. Silvani kicks the ball forward and he finds Sankey who's not been marked by McGrath who could have been reported earlier in this quarter. From the half-forward line, Sankey, who has kicked the goal for Carlton, has a chance of scoring again. He's only 40 yards out. He kicks it off the side of his boot, and one flag is the result. One goal, the difference. We've had two minutes of time on. Cooper knocks it down the line. 22 and a half minutes of time gone in this last quarter. Farmer knocks it out. Shark by... Uh... And here's a magnificent drop kick coming out to the half-back line. Farmer up in the middle of the pack and nearly brought down a house streamer. The ball comes out onto the half-back flank. It's Sankey on the bottom of the pack. The umpire must... Yard. And he was caught by big long Sankey, who's about six foot eight. He will clear it up towards the half forward line. 